Life is a journey made by walking, one moment at a time, one step at a time, one decision at a time. The journey is simple and complex all at once. Simple in we simply walk, listen, observe, learn, and share the fullness of the experience with others. Complex as life is filled with many choices. At each juncture or fork in the road, we are faced with a decision. We pause, we look, listen, and discern which path to take. Today we encounter Lady Wisdom in Proverbs. We are invited to her house. Hers is a strong house upheld by seven pillars. The invitation is to come and feast. Her table is set. The best animals have been slaughtered for the feast. Her servant girls have been sent out and the call is issued from the highest places in town. You that are simple, turn in here. To those without sense, she says, come, Eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Lay aside immaturity and live and walk in the way of insight. She issues an invitation for all to come to her feast, beginning with the simple and those without sense. It is rare to comprehend. It is rare to encounter Lady Wisdom. In our readings and perhaps even in life, It is a gift to do so. In Proverbs, she is described as God's first creation, God's consort and companion, who stands with and beside God as the balance of the world is created. She is intriguing. Lady Wisdom represents the fullness and goodness of the feminine spirit in creation. She carefully builds her house prepares a feast and issues an invitation to any and all to come. And she encourages everyone to lay aside immaturity and live, to grow up and walk in the way of insight. She is depicted as a beautiful woman, a teacher, an instructor of souls. Her counterpart is Lady Folly, depicted as a loose woman who is loud, ignorant, and persuasive, offering passing pleasures. Folly will lead one down a road of foolishness and misery. Her table does not nurture with rich food and well-seasoned wine, but offers meager fare that steals life from the body and soul. The invitations have been issued. And we have a choice between Lady Folly and Lady Wisdom's feasts. To attend the feast of Lady Wisdom is to be filled with the joy and gladness of heart that comes when we live honestly, choose wisely, and walk in the way of wisdom. Acknowledging and giving thanks to God for the gift of everything that is, especially of the life we each have. And the truth is we walk alone and together. When we gather together in this holy place with open hearts and minds, with hope and faith, mysterious things occur. Love touches and transforms us in ways unknown at the moment, yet over time are revealed in moments of wisdom. And sometimes we come here with hardened hearts and set minds, without hope, without faith. In those moments, our prayer is that God will break through our own hard-heartedness, our own set minds, our own lack of wisdom. We pray we may embrace once again that all of life is gift, every moment gathered, every Eucharist a feast, every moment shared, each piece of bread, every sharing of food, of word, 
of story. So when we encounter Jesus in communion, we expect the unexpected. There is so much mystery which happens here. In a lifetime, I doubt we will ever fully comprehend what occurs in the most holy sacrament. Often words fail to capture the fullness of the experience. As we take in Christ, Christ takes us in. We become one and we celebrate the feast of the world's redemption as we enter into the invitation to life, filled to overflowing, nurtured and renewed in the sacrament of Christ's body. As we walk the journey, let us choose to live fully, celebrate richly, share generously, and allow ourselves to flow in the dance of life as we feast at Lady Wisdom's table and choose, choose the road not taken. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy, grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there, had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference.